Alright everyone, how's it going? This is Rexver here, and I'm back yet again, another game tutorial, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a charge beam similar to Mega Man or Metroid in Game Maker. So, this is a really cool and really fun thing to do, I might add, and before we actually start the tutorial off, I need to give some credit to a guy named Bike Kid. 2222. This guy is where I learned how to even come up with this in the first place, and I'm using his system that he's created here, and this is on the YoYo Games forums, I might add, and uh, he was actually helping another person to uh, kind of figure this out, and so I thought, you know, I'd go ahead and give him credit, um, even though he may never even see this video, just in case um, he does, or, you know, something like that. I want to give him credit for coming up with the system. This is really cool, really easy to use system, and um, it just takes uh, barely any time at all, actually to set up. And although it's not as easy to understand as we get down to uh, kind of this section down here, um, it's pretty... <clears throat> Uh, excuse me. Um, it's pretty easy to um, kind of get the basics of, uh, I was going to say basics there, but basis of uh, kind of what it does and how it works. So credit to him for coming up with this and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it there. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, begin this thing. This is really fun to do. I'm just I'm excited to tell you guys the truth. I actually just figured out how to do this a while ago. Uh, and when I say a while ago, I basically mean like 20 minutes ago. Really cool thing to do, and I can't wait to get right into this. So, let's get right into this. Alright, so I already have everything pre-made for the pacing, or the sake of pacing, rather, in this video. And uh, you'll have to excuse me, there's some pancakes sitting next to me, or I guess not next to me, a couple feet away from me. And I am, uh, can't wait to eat them, I'm pretty hungry, so, you know, excuse me if I kind of, uh, I guess, uh, don't necessarily complete my sentences, I guess, all the way. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm a bit hungry, as you guys might be able to tell. So I'm going to try to get this over with quick, but uh, not too quick. All right, so anyway, as, uh, as I was going to say here, I already have a uh, created sprite. And uh, this is a, uh, do, 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 I believe it's a, yes, a 32 by 16 sprite. You guys can have whatever the heck you want to have. Um, but this is just going to be uh, used for my little blaster here. And you want to also have a, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you want to have these sprites for this tutorial, because without these, it's not necessarily going to work. Um, well, I mean, you could have whatever the heck you want to have, but just make sure you have two sprites uh, set out for this tutorial. Alright, and one of those sprites, the other one rather, needs to be the little, uh, I guess, uh, see, what would you call this? The little blast, I guess? Not necessarily a blast, but basically the dot that kind of shoots out of your blaster. Okay, now, if you haven't already guessed, we're going to go ahead and make two objects for the corresponding sprites that I just went through. And the first object being the blaster, and you'll notice I didn't really bother to name it because I didn't really feel the need because you can pretty much tell what each one is from the sprites anyway. Alright, so what you want to do here is go add event, and I just realized that the bottom of this is cut off a little bit. Huh, that shouldn't really affect the tutorial much, but yeah, it kind of bothers me. Uh, nonetheless, let's just go ahead and move on. So we're going to go ahead and hit add event here, create, and go to the control tab here, click and drag over in an execute code action. <laughs> Said that kind of weird. Execute code action. All right. So uh, anyway, um, go ahead and copy and paste this code from the description box. Um, it should be there. Um, and if it's not, go ahead and let me know. Um, hopefully, you don't forget to put it there. I shouldn't forget though. Um, but I have forgotten to put that before um, in some of my tutorials. But uh, it will be there nonetheless um, pretty soon. So you know. Anyway, just go ahead and uh, go to the description box, copy and paste this code in here. And this is just setting up our basic variables that we're going to be using for this tutorial, uh, charge equals zero, and max charge equals 20, so the maximum um, we can charge to is 20. All right, and you'll see what that does later. All right, and after that, we want to go ahead and go add event, and step, and step, and same thing, keeping it in the control tab, click and drag over and execute code action. And again, you want to go ahead and click and drag over the code from the description box. And uh, this is basically saying that if you're holding down the left button on your mouse, um, then it's going to start charging by 0.5 points, I guess. <laughs> and uh, remember back here, it can go up to a max of 20. So once you hit 20 points, um, that's all you're going to be able to charge to. So you're not going to be able to like overly max charge or whatever. Um, but yeah, and basically down here it's saying once you release that, 
um, depending on where it is, if you're at your max charge, it's going to go at a speed of three and just kind of go like, Whew! and uh, then reset the back or self back to charge uh, zero. I totally just messed up that sentence there. Jeez. So basically, once you have shot your beam, um, depending on where it is in the charge point meter, um, it's going to go right back down to charge uh, zero. And so you know you're gonna have to recharge your gun again. And um, yeah. <laughs> so I know that doesn't make too much sense now, but don't worry, it will in just a moment here. So what you're going to want to do after that is, uh, amazingly, that's all you need to do. That is pretty simple, if you ask me. That's all the stuff you need to do to set that up. Um, the last thing you want to do is, obviously, set your blaster object anywhere in the room. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set mine right here. And as you'll notice, or as you might not notice, I'm using GameMaker 8, and that was kind of accidental. I don't really like to use GameMaker 8 for uh, tutorials because I find it a bit annoying to use with all the different features and stuff like that. You know, if you press right-click, you have to do the delete thing and all that annoying stuff. Um, so I tend to use GameMaker 8.0. I was going to say Game Maker Zero there. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and run this really quick. And so I can show you guys the end result. But let me go ahead and change the uh, kind of uh, uh, parameters of my recording space here. Just so you guys don't see my desktop and stuff and get all um, distracted. So let me go ahead and do that here in just a minute. We're back. We have a little blaster here, and uh, really quick, sorry if I kind of slurred some of my words or something in that last tutorial, or last part of this tutorial, rather. Um, as I said, I am really hungry. I've just been doing videos nonstop. Um, to tell you the truth, I actually, this is actually my third video that I've been doing um, kind of in a row. So, as you can imagine, I'm a bit tired and especially hungry for those pancakes. Oh my gosh. So... Jeez, I sound like a maniac there. What the heck? All right, but anyway, um, when we press the left, uh, uh, okay, sorry about that. When we press the, uh, I was just kind of, uh, my throat was acting up a little bit there, so I kind of had to stop the recording and then kind of start back up again. <clears throat> Uh, hopefully it doesn't give us any more trouble for the rest of the tutorial, uh, but we're almost done anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and hold down the... Actually, we're just going to go ahead and lightly press the left button on our mouse here. As you can see, we shoot a little dot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's pretty... Yeah, no one really wants just regular dots. You know, we want to get something more effective here. So let's go ahead and charge this. So to do that, we want to go ahead and just simply click and hold down our left mouse button for a little bit here. And then release. And there we go. We get an awesome little uh, fast-paced uh, shot there. And we can shoot at kind of like different speeds here, depending on how fast we kind of charge our beam here. And, uh, you know, this is really cool. We can get it really fast. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, guys. That is how to create a charge beam in Game Maker. And once again, credit to BikeKid2222 for coming up with this system. Really awesome system and uh, really fun to use. And I hope you guys had some uh, fun uh, creating this. And I uh, hope it helps you in your games and all that stuff. And uh, as always, guys, feel free to comment and rate on this video, as well as maybe even subscribe to my channel for updates on upcoming videos and such. And I promise uh, I won't be all hungry and tired again. Well, maybe a little bit tired, but, you know, definitely not hungry. I usually tend to eat before my videos, but this time... You know, I guess I kind of broke the rules there. But anyway, definitely after this tutorial, make sure to eat first and uh, be replenished before I do one of these. Um, but nonetheless, guys, I'm taking up a lot of your time as it is. So this has been Rex Furry. And uh, as always, everyone, I will see you all next video.